Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you 10 fragrances that I feel are worth the hype. So these are fragrances that for whatever reason have gotten a certain amount of hype. Maybe they haven't been hyped up enough. <laughs> but they're awesome and I love them and I want to share them with you. Also, um, just because they're worth the hype, it doesn't mean that they're purchase worthy necessarily, uh, depending on what you like, right? So it's very, very subjective. And with that qualifier there, um, I'm going to get into this. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And for all of you that are part of the community, you guys are awesome. Like so awesome. Just, just love you. So anyway, uh, let's get started. So, um, I've got kind of a mix of more pricey fragrances mixed with really affordable. Uh, so that's all I'll say about that. And let's get started. The first one is Swiss Arabian Shakoff Oud. Now I thought instead of going with notes, I would tell you how these fragrances make me feel and what kind of bizarre, oh, I can smell it already. As soon as you take that cap off, you start to smell it. What type of bizarre uh, fantasies pop up in my head? <laughs> okay, get serious. Okay, so uh, Shakoff Oud is apparently a uh, dupe or very similar to Oud Bouquet by Lancôme. Now I have not smelt that one. Uh, I have smelt dupes of it in the past and uh, this one is apparently a little bit more scratchy. I just think this one's amazing. This is a powerhouse fragrance. So you put this on, it's going to last you for like 12 hours. Uh, this one's relatively affordable, like I think I paid 40 something for this one, maybe even less. Um, this one, what you get mainly in it is rose, oud, and praline. Uh, so definitely an oudy fragrance. I just think this one is so uber sexy. It's just absolutely amazing. Now, when I smell this, well, I'll just tell you the scenario that goes on in my head. So, uh, you know, when your eyes lock with someone, like, uh, you know, you, your eyes lock and you get kind of almost like a rush of emotion or a rush of feeling like it's just kind of like swoosh. It goes throughout your whole entire body seemingly like it's like almost like a, a visceral <sighs> like that, but not in a bad way. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Like you're at some sort of function and all of a sudden you see this man and he looks directly into your eyes and literally it's like your whole insides melt. <laughs> That's this fragrance. I don't know what it is about it. Like, I would love to smell this on a guy, like seriously. I like this one way better than Intense Cafe. Um, it, it has that similar rose oud aspect, but Intense Cafe is way sweeter. This one is, although there's praline in it, it's a lot more woody or oudy. Uh, the, jam the rose is not what I would consider jammy, but it's very, very present. So it's a really strong, like I think of a red rose that's fully opened and is giving up as much fragrance as possible. That's what you get in this. So I think it's beautiful. And then it's got a little bit of that praline. So it's, it's sweet. It's delicious. It's unbelievably sexy, like so darn sexy. So I think that this one is really great. Um, apparently Oud Bouquet is a little smoother. This one, the opening is a little whoo, cause it's so powerful. Uh, but then it just uh, melds into this really seductive, delectable uh, rose oud praline combination that I think is absolutely stunning. So this one is definitely uh, worth getting your nose on, but it is very, very powerful long lasting projects like a beast siage like a beast uh you definitely this isn't for the faint of heart it's for uh the bold and the beautiful mouth bold and beautiful so if you want to feel bold and beautiful or if you are bold and beautiful check this out whether you're male or female this is amazing amazing 
Okay, the next one I'm not going to talk too long about because I've talked about it a ton, but it's Trisardi Donna. Now, a lot of people mentioned to me, have you tried the EDT? And yes, I've sniffed it. I haven't worn it. Uh, some people say it's a little bit more tea-like. This one to me is a lot more creamy. Um, this is the EDP. I get really decent longevity out of this one. Uh, like I'm talking six, seven hours. Again, this one's relatively affordable. I love the bottle. This one is a fresher, kind of more lemon, slightly cream, uh, sweet fragrance. So this one has some florals. It's got sandalwood. I just think it's beautiful. It's cheery, it's bright, it's energizing. Um, I, I think it's extremely feminine uh, and it's beautiful in the summer, but I think you could wear this one in the winter as well, uh, if you don't mind wearing lemon. It's just invigorating. It makes my mouth water when I smell this one. It's got enough lemon that it kind of puckers me up a little bit. But with the sandalwood and the vanilla and the creaminess, I don't find that this one uh, is like way too tart. It's really balanced beautifully. I think it's gorgeous and definitely worth a sniff. Now the next fragrance that I feel is worth the hype is Alien by Mugler. Now um, this one is really polarizing. People either love it or hate it. Uh, it's also a very strong fragrance. Uh, and well worth it to me. This one, um, there's, there's, now it's sprayed all over me. <laughs> oh, yes, this is beautiful. This one has jasmine, amber, and woody notes in it. This one is just sexy, but there's a cleanness about it. So there's a little bit of a soapy, like the jasmine is more soapy jasmine. Um, but it's just like kind of intoxicating. Intoxicating, sexy, bold. Again, this one lasts me a long time. Like I'm gonna get about seven hours out of this. Uh, and I just think it's stunning. I love it. Um, I think that this is one that you can wear uh, definitely in the evening. I actually like wearing this one in the day as well. I don't think it's too overpowering. Uh, although a lot of people do uh, like they think I'm crazy that I would wear this during the day. Uh, lots of people think that this is more of a clubbing fragrance. For me, because I notice that cleanness more so than like the intoxicating jasmine amber, um, it smells cleaner to me. Uh, not cleaner, but <laughs> it just smells clean uh, to me than this one uh, is not just exclusively a nighttime perfume but I think it's super sexy, uh, it's beautiful, long lasting, projects beautifully, it's kind of iconic and I love it. So definitely, this one, you know, the first two are a little bit harder to get your nose on because uh, they're not carried in department stores that I know of, but this one, uh, you can go smell it pretty much anywhere. So definitely, if you've never sniffed this, give it a try. And what I always recommend is try it on your skin because it smells different on paper. So go in, spray it on your arm and see what you think. For me, this one took a couple wears before I liked it. The other two were love at first sniff. This one, I was not sure about it at first because it was so soapy to me. So now I smell like that intoxicating jasmine amber combination as well. So I love this one. It's really hard to describe. I imagine Black Widow or some sort of like a spider woman who, um, you know, she, she doesn't sting you with her stinger. She emits this aura and it just kind of reels, it, it, it intoxicates and kind of uh, mesmerizes her prey. <laughs> that would be this one. This one totally mesmerizes me. Like, I just find it just, mm, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, Alien. Now the next one I talk about, uh, again, way too much, but I just love it. So I'm going to talk about it really quickly. It's Sophia by Sophia Vergara. Celebrity scent, super affordable, long lasting, like you're going to get six to seven hours. At least I do. Uh, it's super vibrant, juicy, flirty, uh, yet classy. I think it's beautiful. I always say I imagine, you know, some woman, sh it, like this, this perfume belongs in a musical, like, do, 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 do. like, that's what I think of when I sniff this one. It's just 
amazing and it's like life is grand and you're uh you know you wear kind of a pinkish dress and high heels and and somehow they don't hurt <laughs> and maybe you're in paris and you're like ha, 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 ha. like except it wouldn't be that big. <laughs> like, i uh, it's beautiful. It's such a pretty fragrance. If you like Coco Mademoiselle, you'd probably love this. Um, if you like plum, juicy things, a lot of people that don't like Coco Mademoiselle but want that vibe, go for this and love it. Uh, so this is super juicy. It's amazing. It's one of my favorites, absolutely, and I love it. Uh, all year round it's great, but especially, um, especially in the spring, summer, this one just sings. The next fragrance that I feel is totally worth the hype is Dolce & Gabbana's The Only One Intense. Now I've seen a lot of people and they like this at first and then they get rid of it. They don't, they don't like it for some reason in the end, it seems, but I love this one. I just think it's beautiful. Um, you get apple in the top, there's uh, I think some neroli, uh, coconut, mm, it just smells to me so delicious. Uh, but as it dries down, and, and to me the apple and the coconut kind of work together to smell, to me it smells like a boozy coconut. But then as it dries down you get this warm sandalwood creaminess coming through. Um, it's quite sensual but it's not like overstated, like it's not like BAM or you know BOOM, like I'm, I'm a sex bomb. It's not like that. This one is more subdued. This one is wonderful. Um, the projection on this one, I don't notice that it projects majorly. Uh, the longevity is decent on this one, like six hours uh, or more. But this one, uh, I think, becomes a skin scent a little sooner. Uh, this one to me is beautiful for those, uh, you know, snuggle, cozy uh, evenings with your uh, significant other. Uh, this one is just, I think, so beautiful. It's edible enough that I can see someone coming in for some nibbles, <laughs> but it's also like it, it's not a full gourmand. So, you know, I think it would appeal to a large, uh, you know, a large group of people. I definitely like this one better than the only one, uh, although a lot of people love the only one better than the only one intense. Uh, the only one is more caramel vanilla. This one would be more coconut sandalwood. Uh, and I just, I think it's lovely. So definitely get your nose on this one. This one's fairly popular. You can find it in stores. So definitely get, get your nose on this one. Okay, the next fragrance, I'm very excited to have it in my collection. And it is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Now, this fragrance, uh, for any of you in Canada that were able to get it for the $20 deal, $20! Isn't that amazing? Uh, and I want to again thank uh, Nisha from Spicy Looks. She is the one that uh, she called me, which was so sweet of her, uh, to tell me, you've got to go get Flora Botanica. It's on sale. Uh, and I'm like, there's no way. Like, for real, it's 20 bucks, And it was 20 bucks. So this is, like, so expensive now because it's so hyped up. Uh, and for us Canadians that were lucky enough to find it at Shoppers Drug Mart, it was $20. So uh, I'm super excited to have it. This fragrance would definitely not be for everybody. So the first person that I ever heard talk about this one, uh, and it definitely hyped it up major, was uh, Demi Rawling. So she mentioned this last year. And um, I was like, like basically anything that Demi Rawling suggests, boom, I'm there to check it out. I put it on and I'm like, I can't believe she likes this fragrance. Like, I do not understand it. To me, it just smelled so green. It just smelled like green. Like it smelled like grass or some sort of green herby type thing. And I'm like, I don't understand this. So I thought, oh, this is not for me. But as it dried down on the skin, all of a sudden this rose started to appear. So I thought it was the most amazing fragrance. Like I consider this to be a bit of a masterpiece. And the reason why is because it's unique, at least to me, it's quite unique, uh, but it starts off so green. And then all of a sudden this rose, this dewy uh, morning rose appears. So 
it's like a story and I love fragrances that are like a story also like look at this bottle it's quite unique like it's definitely I've got nothing like this in my collection in the opening it has mint and then I believe that there's like cannabis uh, there's a just a ton of green notes I don't notice the cannabis although like I've only smelt it when it's being smoked so like it's it's not a weed smell uh, but definitely very green in the opening I do get that hint of mint uh, which I find very refreshing and so to me it smells like I'm in a like let's say an English garden in the morning where uh, it's quite cool and you're smelling the grass, you're smelling the leaves, you're smelling mint. There's mint around, but there's also all these lovely rose bushes. So you're smelling all those morning smells of the greenness and the mint and just that that freshness of, of the fauna. <laughs> fauna as it were, uh, but then you lean over and you smell this wet dewy rose uh, and and you that's combined with all the, the grass and everything around. That's basically what you get out of this one. Now this would definitely not be for everybody. Like I can see a lot of people not liking this. Uh, my sister tried it and it gave her a headache. So it's definitely um, different. Uh, this one is definitely uh, absolutely not for everybody but I just think it's absolute masterpiece as far as being an experience uh, being something unique and different being refreshing yet f feminine and floral uh, that said I think a guy could pull this one off too because it's so green so I think this could work unisex uh, but yeah it's just it's really an interesting fragrance so for that reason it's worth the hype you definitely have to try it though uh, because it is not for everybody for sure but I love it again I'm not sure how hyped up this one is uh, but I've heard of it a lot I would say its counterpart is hyped up more why don't I just show you what it is it's terracotta by Guerlain. Now, um, first of all, when I think of this perfume, I think of Happiness Sparkles because she loves this fragrance and I just saw a post um, and it was her bottle and it was basically empty and I'm like, oh wow, but she has a backup. So this one um, is a, a little bit hyped because it's elusive in a lot of countries, especially in the States. In Canada, you can get this at the Bay. It's our local department store. Uh, I think it's $95 and it's readily available there. I would say that Bronze Goddess may be more hyped than this one. Uh, but this one, I think because it became quite elusive to get your hands on, uh, there was a bit of hype around it. And I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, this one, it took a little bit to grow on me. I didn't like it right off the bat. I find myself gravitating towards and wearing quite a lot this summer. It's, uh, there's a bit of a, like it has tiara, it has coconut, it has, uh, you know, all the, you know, kind of more tropical florals. Smells similar in a way uh, to Bronze Goddess, but this one to me is way more sophisticated. Uh, it's, it's um, I find it quite long lasting, like I get six to seven hours, although like in, in the six, seven hour mark, it's more skin scent, but I can still smell it nice and strong. It smells rich, it smells sensual, uh, it's not too much for the humidity, even though it's quite heady uh, to my nose. Uh, there's a bit of a, like, um, like it almost smells like there's spices in here somehow, uh, along with that tiara and the coconut and whatever. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a beach vibe, but this to me is summer resort. Uh, so not summer beach, but more summer resort. Uh, and it's very sophisticated. I just love this one. I watched a movie not too long ago with Army Hammer, is that his name? Uh, the movie was called Rebecca, I think, but it was set kind of in the 40s slash 50s time. And uh, I just got thinking about that because when I smell this, I think of people summering at their uh, local resort. And so they're off in Paris or whatever, and they stay in a resort for the whole entire summer. <laughs> 
that would be like so amazing like and you know they go down for breakfast in the morning and they have you know a butler and their life is just pretty easy going <laughs> to say the least. Anyway, uh, the woman that lives that life, she wears this. She smells fabulous. Uh, when she walks by, she leaves this beautiful trail of mystery uh, and, and it definitely turns heads. This one has um, kind of a, a, I call it an oily uh, quality, which doesn't sound too appetizing, uh, but I, I don't know. I just love it. It kind of reminds me like the oily is is like uh, you know um, the the oil that you put in your hair. Uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it's like quite popular right now. It smells a little almost nutty, nutty oily if if that makes sense. It's it's not got anything of that nature in it, but anyway, I just love this. I think it's super classy, sophisticated great for um, any time during the summer. Really a person could wear this any time of year. It's just absolutely stunning. So definitely give, it, give this a sniff. The next fragrance that I feel is totally worth the hype. And again, Demi Rawling hyped this one up. It is Zara's Rich Warm Addictive. And I love this one. Now, this is super affordable. Like I think it's $30 in store. Uh, this one does not last. Uh, so this one, um, you know, the longevity is terrible on it. The longevity on all the other ones, honestly, is really decent, like super decent. This one, the longevity is horrible, <laughs> but I love this fragrance. This is my, basically my bedtime fragrance in the winter. So I get kind of a rummy, a rummy coconut uh, vibe from this. Uh, it's super sexy, sensual. Uh, it's sweet, it's delectable, like it smells delicious. Uh, it's not super overpowering, but I put it on and I just feel kind of sexy and saucy. <laughs> sexy and saucy. This is definitely my favorite Zara fragrance. I believe this has rum, coconut, tobacco. I don't know if there's anything else in this, uh, but I just I just love it. it. To me, I don't smell the tobacco, but I smell like a rum or a liquor uh, mixed with a bit of coconut. I think there's honey in this too. Uh, it's, it's just absolutely delicious, like delicious. So this is one I love wearing to bed. Uh, it's quite sweet, uh, definitely not floral. Um, it's more, uh, I would say feminine leading, although this is found in the men's fragrance section. It just smells, it just smells sexy to me. Uh, and I just think it's perfect for a bedtime scent uh, or anytime uh, you want to smell like a rum coconut drink. <laughs> Next fragrance that is worth the hype and has been talked about a ton on my channel, so I'm going to briefly talk about it, is La Belle uh, by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, this is another fragrance that is just uh, a favorite of mine. Pear Vanilla vetiver there's a whole bunch of other notes now i think there's uh jasmine leather like fragrantica really stacked it with a bunch of different notes um this one smells like a pear that has been cooking it's ripe uh it's been cooking like poaching and then they put rum on it and a little bit of spices and uh that's what i get out of this one i think that this one is very intoxicating uh, it's beautiful, like just absolutely beautiful. Uh, you can smell this in store in many places now. Um, for Canadians, this just came to Canada uh, and is at Shoppers again. So uh, definitely go get your nose on this one. It's very, um, it's one that I think a lot of guys really enjoy. Um, it's again, a slightly gourmand in nature. It's very flirtatious. Uh, and yeah, I just think it's, it's, uh, delicious, sexy, wonderful. I don't mind wearing this one during the day either. So I think this one transitions easy from day to night. Guys like this projection is excellent. I've been complimented on this one. I'm flashing this around. Like I'm going to, I'm going to, it's going to fly out of my hand and it's going to hit my camera. So I'm going to put it down. Definitely worth taking a, a sniff. 
uh, and I love the bottle and honestly I love the shape of this bottle too. <laughs> uh, it, it's just it's cool. Now the last one that I believe is worth the hype is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme. Again Demi Rawling. She just she knows how to hype them up man and she's talked about this one so much. Uh, this one like again all of these have actually really beautiful bottles like I love the bottles love the fragrance love the image that it gives me uh, and yeah this one is no exception so first of all I just find the bottle so classy and I find that the fragrance inside really suits the bottle so this one totally smells black tie to me one that I actually can see on a guy as well Noir Pour Femme uh, it has a kulfi in it. It's it's kind of a gourmand. Um, it's it's very sexy. It smells uh, like it's got vanilla, but it's mixed with cream and like I, I think of some sort of delicious dessert. Um, there's spice to it. There's warmth. It smells luxurious. It smells expensive, and it smells so uber sexy. Um, like this one, I, I would say this fragrance, like Swiss Arabian, uh, Alien, they're all sexy, but this is on a whole other level. This one smells like uh, you are a self-made gazillionaire and you uh, take your jet to some pr like some fancy dancey place. Like let's say uh, you take your jet and you go to Milan or someplace like that. And then uh, you stay in your fancy five-star hotel, and then you put on your beautiful velvet dress. I know velvet's not necessarily popular, but when I smell this, I think of velvet. <laughs> uh, the guy that you're with, he's very handsome, wears a tuxedo, uh, you know, super whatever. So you both, you both just look gorgeous, you're fixed up, uh, it's slightly chilly out. You get in the back of the limo, leather seats. You just uh, you get in on either side, and you instantly come right to the middle, so that you can just kind of be close to each other. Uh, yeah, this this is just, <laughs> it's just so sexy. I love this fragrance. Definitely worth smelling. Uh, this one I can see not being for everybody as well because uh, it's kind of in your face. It's got kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's thick somehow, uh, but it's so, so beautiful and definitely worth checking out. I love it. Um, I don't know really how to describe the notes that go together with it because it just smells, like some people have said it smells like a, you know, some sort of cheesecake. I totally understand that concept. Um, yeah, it's this one. This one really, this one moves me. <laughs> this one really moves me. Definitely check it out. Definitely worth the hype. So that is it. Those are my 10 worth the hype fragrances. What are fragrances that you feel are worth the hype? I would love to know. And um, yeah. Uh, I love all of them as usual, like not everybody's going to love them, not everyone's even going to feel that they're worth the hype, but I want to know what you think. Do you, uh, do you like these ones? Are some of them ones that you're not so crazy about and which ones have I missed that are, you think that you're, that are definitely worth the hype? I definitely want to know. Maybe it's something I need to check out. So, uh, that's it. I hope that you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.